Needs to continue the pressure. Nice micro by Soup focusing those uh, throwing axemen down. Very nice. Vil fighting. Rapple's gonna get at least one Vil kill. Two Vil kills? That's nice, but yeah, don't want to be too greedy there. Don't want to be too greedy there. And the butter knife has prevailed. Good boy, Dwarf. Good boy. Yeah, this was this was a good raid for Rapple, but also a little bit costly. He lost a couple of units in there. He's gonna lose his uh, Sven. Careful, Mr. Sven. Is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Ah, attaboy soup, attaboy, attaboy. Alrighty, everybody, welcome to game number one, Rapple against Soup. Like I was saying just before this, oh boy, could this this could easily be, um, you know, Soup against Rapple could be a final, it could be a semi-final, it could be a bronze match, it could be, you know, the, these guys are definitely two of the top uh, Norse players, obviously two of the top Norse players these days. Um, in all fairness, it's hard to say, you know, what in the world's going to happen in this tournament just because of the level of players who are uh, who are signed up. So, but anyways, let's get into this game. So we got Soup down here on this bottom side. He's playing Loki okay, in the blue and we have Rapple up here on the top side um, in the red playing Odin. So I was I was correct. I was correct in my um, in my assessment. I'm guessing that we'd have Loki and Odin. OK, so we got Odin. There we go. Yeah, um, I like that, again, kind of like what we've seen before, having these on Mega Random, having the Arox or Water Buffalo spawn really close to your town center. I like that Rapple just pulls it in. I like how Rapple just pulls it in. We could see, we could easily see Rapple share some wooden gold right there, so that's nice. It seems like this map it has some decent amount of hunt. You got the doubles starting. Ooh, careful. Did you know? <gasps> he just shot a pig with a bow and arrow. That's cool. Nice macro from... Oh, nice micro from Rapple right there. Great hunt to get an additional Aurochs plus some pigs. Oh, beautiful micro right there by Rapple. Beautiful, beautiful micro right there by Rapple. To pull in the Aurochs, use great hunt and everything. Very nice micro by Rapple. Anyways, and it, uh, on top of that starting hunt, he's also got some over here on this left side. He's got some elk over there. Um, berries and elk and berries and whatnot in, in the middle of the map, so... There's some other food options for Rapple. Not, it's not super high hunt map, but, you know, it's not like other mega randoms we've seen where there's just no hunt aside. Like the Gabu counts from game one where there's, you know, only Arox in your base and nothing else. Anyways, let's go look at Soup's side. So as we've seen, Lo Soup play Loki many a time before. Did he not find his starting Arox? Soup is already hunting Arox way over here on, uh, outside of his base. I know we kind of saw that. Ooh, we kind of saw that earlier. Uh, but we went over to Rapple side. Anyways, yeah, already hunting outside of his base. That means that he's going to have those uh, Arox to eat for inside of his base. Nice, safe, and secure right there. Speaking of safety and security, Rapple's deciding to, uh, you know, make Soup a little unsafe and un-insecure. Um, you know, planning to go aggressive against Zupa. Freya incoming. Bro, we got Freya incoming at 257. That's going to be a 357 advance time. Oh boy, oh really boy. And Soup is actually way late with this temple. I think it's because he didn't, did he not? He must not have seen these starting Aurochs. So Soup had to go all the way over here for Aurochs, delaying his advance time, etc., etc., etc. He's gonna advance hopefully no later than um, 4.30, honestly, after this, yeah, after this. Boom, there we go. So 4.30, okay, okay, okay. 4.30 advance time for Soup. That's actually not a bad time. That's not a bad time, but... You know, when there is Heimdall potential for your Odin, um, you know, your Odin compatriot, uh, you definitely want to advance on the faster side of things. And knowing, seeing a Hersir, seeing an Odin Hersir this far forward. Oh, Soup just finishes that Arox right in the nick of time. Mr. Ringblood here. <clears throat> As Mr. Ringblood gets here on the, uh, on the Bilagers. I hate that house position. Just stick it right there. That's what she said. Anyways. Yeah, but you know what's coming your way when you see it. When you see a hearse here in your face that soon, you know what's coming. We could see a nice forest fire here to really open up the base of soup, open up the gold mine, open up the base. That could be nice. Are we gonna see it? 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 We're seeing it. We're seeing it. That's a little late in my opinion. I think that's a little late right there. 
little late of a forest fire. I think I think using it straight up early definitely could have been nice for Rapple. Okay, we got Versetti. Versetti for soup, by the way. Versetti for soup. No Heimdall. No Heimdall. It's not often that you see soup build defensively. A little bit funny. A little bit funny. Okay, we got Raiding Cavalry. Really fast advance and Freya Raiding Cavalry coming out for Rappelsan. Alrighty then. Nice, nice, very nice micro by soup right there to get a couple of hits. Ooh, get some nice hits on with Mr. Blood Drowner. Oh, that is a badass name. Ari Blood Drowner. Ha! Nice name, Ari. Snoop's actually got some berries back here in the back of his base. A couple of pigs, a couple of berries in the backside of his base. So after, after, if he decides to take that Aurochs right there, which he is, where's the rest of his villagers? Going on to berries right here. Interesting. So Soup is deciding, instead of taking this other Aurochs, he decides to just, you know, he could pull that Aurochs back into his town center fire. Maybe, is that greedy of me that I would go for the Aurochs personally? Is that greedy of me? I don't know about that. There goes the Valk. Okay, hearse here. Oh, this is Soup's hearse here, doing some, doing some scooting, scooting around. Rappo going, throwing axe, been raiding cavalry hearse here. One, 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 nice. He's looking pretty good so far. Hall of Thanes incoming for Soup. Okay, okay, okay. This is the, once Hall of Thanes comes in, man, that's dangerous. Rappel needs to continue the pressure. Nice micro by Soup focusing those, uh, throwing Axemen down. Very nice. Vil fighting, Rappel's gonna get at least one Vil kill. Two Vil kills, that's nice, but yeah, don't wanna be too greedy there. Don't wanna be too greedy there. And the butter knife has prevailed. <clears throat> good boy, dwarf, good boy. Yeah, this was this was a good raid for Rappel, but also a little bit costly. He lost a couple of units in there. He's gonna lose his uh, Sven. Careful, Mister Sven. Is he gonna get? It? Is he gonna get it? Ah, atta boy, soup, atta boy, atta boy, atta boy. I don't know what this troll is doing out here, but he's maybe gonna die himself. You see, soup is starting to kind of. You know, get some jabs back, right? <laughs> dip, dive, dodge, and dodge, dip, dive, dance, and dodge, or whatever it is. Now that he's got these fast hers here in, oh boy, oh really boy. Like I said, Rappel needs to continue to put on the pressure. If he relaxes the pressure, exactly. Once Rappel relaxes the pressure, that allows Soup to send out the boys. Send out the boys and go create some havoc, gentlemen. There's four of them. That's definitely enough to create the havoc. Now Rappel needs to hit back. Ooh, he needs to clap back on this baby. It's a interesting decision. Another Vil pick. Very nice by Rappel. There goes the tower. Soup does have this gold mine over on this right hand side. Raven is nearby. There is a gold mine over there if he completely gets kicked off of that bad boy right there. Speaking of bad boys. The Hercer makes tomato soup from the blood of his adversaries. That's the blood drowner guy. <laughs> Soupy, 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 soupy. Careful with the dwarves. Okay. Ah, Valk is in on Rapple. Ooh, that's very nice. There is no hearse here nearby Rapple for Rapple to place a defense over here. I guess he can make one from his base right here. Going for old Sarks now. That's interesting. Going for straight infantry now. Okay. 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 Yeah, the switcheroo half happened, but the raven sees it. Which one? Who is this? Hugin or Mugen? I don't know. Good boy, regardless. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. And dodge. <laughs> the five Ds of dodgeball. <laughs> All right, yeah, this Valkyrie going to get a vil pick here. Sick. Dude, this Valk, this Valk is so huge. That's one, that's two Vil picks. At the very least, gonna get a pig pick. Yeah, you ever seen a pig pick? I've seen a pig pick. Almost gets the pig pick. Soup's fighting back, baby. Soup is fighting back. Soup is fighting back, man. Rappel's having to go on defense mode, man. He sees uh, Hugin over here, sees the, sees the gold mine, but 
What's he? Okay, so actually, that's cl on the close side, near side of his uh, Witchman buckets. He can just send some infantry over to hit that gold mine. Big fight in the middle here, potentially happening. Interesting that he went for RC and not ults. Well, the you know the Hersey RC and um, throwing Axeman, it's it's good it's good um, army composition. The raiding cavalry are a bit beefier compared to the old Sarks, 105 to 80 um, uh, HP. Big fight. The troll's not engaging just yet. And oh, he spawn. That's huge. Soup has taken over this game, baby. I think there's potential for Rapple to harass the gold. By all means, there's potential for a Rapple to has, uh, harass the gold. But look at this army, man. Look at this army. Soup is overtaking the middle of the game. The, or sorry, the middle of the map. Overtaking the middle of the map. He could smash all of these houses real quick. Rapples, Rapples, Rapples. He's got Rapple on the ropes, baby. He's got Rapple on the ropes, baby. That's, that's for sure. Soup's on the berries back here. Okay. Don't take that fight, Rapple. I don't think Rapple could take that fight, baby. I don't think Rapple could take that fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No bueno, dude. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. Speaking of no bueno. Holy bueno. Oh, this is interesting what Soup does here. He just goes to pick off the ox cart to idle the villagers. Don't necessarily need to pick off the dwarves. Just idle them, bad boys. Ooh. Soup has maybe gone a bit too deep. It's not often you hear Soup going too deep, huh? Oh, a bazinga, baby. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. That's bit back, yeah. Okay. Is it good? Oh, 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 Rapples going in. I think this is I think this is good. This is an awkward fight for Soup, but he has the Einer Yar. He has the Einer Yar there. And the troll, the troll's going down, but the Eins are there. Awkward fight for Soup. Awkward fight for Soup, but the army is strong. The army is strong. Rapples looking good. This is a good looking fight, actually, for Rapple. Rapples on taking a good looking fight here. Nice. The, by all means, the Eins, the Ein, the Jallerhorn blows are good. The horn blows are good. Nice fight for Rapple, but he's getting um, harassed over here. Soups, yeah, soup. Oh. What? But he just won that fight. What? Rapple throws in the towel. I guess because of all this bullshit that's happening on his gold mine, Rapple throws in the towel. Even after losing or winning that fight, man, he's still down on population. Seventy-one to ninety-two population. <clears throat> soup takes the game. Rapple throws in the towel, dude. I'm telling you, the moment, I'm not even joking, the moment Rapple relaxed a little bit, that allowed Soup to go on the offensive, and that was, you know, that that was that, that was that was the beginning of the end for Rapple in in this game, in my opinion. The Hurser go out, they're able to confuse, you know, just kind of distract the attention of Rapple. You know, eventually we got the Valkyrie putting on some BS back here, etc., etc., etc. You know, Rapple had really nice gold um, harassment and everything, but it wasn't quite strong enough. Wasn't quite strong enough. Let's check the post game and then we'll jump out for game number two. 26 of 40 kills. Very nice. Look at this, man. A much better military count for Rapple, but still the, the myth unit spawns, the KD, a lot better for soup, man. A lot better for soup. Okay, let's update the scoreboard real quick. And then, like I said, we'll jump over to game number two. Alrighty, everybody, welcome to game number two, Soup against Rapple. Like I said before, this has the potential to be a dadgum final, baby. Holy Moses. Unfortunately, we're only going to get, you know, potentially three games today. It is a best of three since we're in round number one. Anyways, uh, same same matchup as before. We got Soup playing Loki um, here in the blue bottom side of the map. Um, starting off with two g -Raths. Okay, and we got Rapple-san up here in the top in the Yo, red playing Odin. Nice. Hey, Ghost Lake. Thanks, buddy. Ghost Lake with a with a nice little tipperoo right there. Thanks, man. I'm gonna Dude. come. Ah, I just did, baby. I hope you're enjoying the, the games, Ghost Lake. Twenty-eight is gonna come. <laughs> um, yeah, Ghost Lake. I appreciate it, man. I hope you're enjoying the games, dude. I hope you're enjoying the games. Hopefully, hopefully it's action packed enough for uh, um, for you. You know. Anyways, okay, I want to I wanna jump back into this game. So, Rapple used his Great Hunt to get a, an extra pig or two, also two extra giraffes. So, he's got these four giraffes, starting giraffes in his base, which is really nice. That's going to give him the possibility to have a really nice um, 
uh, a really nice advance time, just like before. But big difference here, big difference here is that Soup has a back gold mine now. He has a back gold mine. Um, we'll look at his we'll look at his hunt here in just a second. But if Rapple decides to go really aggressive and rush like the previous game, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to try and find places to do damage. Rap or Soup can sit, um, you know, he can sit on these back wood lines, that back gold mine. Uh, sure, the berries are a little bit exposed, and we can look at Hunt here in just a second. Okay, fine. I mean, there's two giraffes right there. Okay, sure. There is a rhino over here, but Soup has not scouted it. Ooh, just barely hasn't scouted it. Bummer for him. Okay, so actually, the, um... Oh, the, the Hunt options for Soup... Actually, there's really not that much Hunt on this map. Elephant in the middle of the map, small group of hunt there. Okay, an elephant over there, a little monkey, baboon. So there are there are hunt options, but by all means, oh, oh, oh dude, there's hunt options, but they're not they're not that wonderful. So I mean, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Ah, ah. This is going to be an interesting game for sure. It'll be interesting once the remember remember we're playing on Vubli 5.0. So once Rappel finishes this, um, once he finishes his temple and the ravens spawn, I wonder if that'll give him, I don't think it will, but I wonder if that'll give him line of sight of, of the temple right there. I think Rappel can see this. I think Rack, Rappel can see the scrailing. So since it is three minutes and the scrailing is forward, the Ulsark is forward, I think that that should give, um, I think that should tick off Rappel that, um, Okay, there's the, obviously there's the spy. I think that should tip off Rapple that there's a, a forward temple somewhere. Yep, and he goes scouting back. Atta boy, Rapple. Atta boy. Rapple needs to take this game if he wants to stay alive in. Well, I mean, it's uh, the format. N most of you guys know this. The format of the tournament is the round robin style, the Swiss format. So nobody's getting knocked out. Nobody's getting knocked out. But still, you get points for wins and you know losses and everything. So by all means, um, you know you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose two zips. So. Losing or winning two to one is is um, or you know at least getting that one point for Rappel is at the very least what he wants to do. If not, obviously just do take the series. Come. Do not come, Moradin underscore br. <laughs> okay, Heimdall is in, baby. Heimdall is in. Both players going Heimdall. Rappel got that uh, relic for the pair of golden lions. That could honestly, when when they built so close to each other like this, like this, that could help, man. That could absolutely help. Are we gonna see the Heimdall, the undermine on the? Longhouse, we are. Longhouse gonna get blocked by Undermine. Very nice. Are we gonna see? Okay. How about Rappel? Where's Rappel? Build it. Rappel goes all the way down here to build a Longhouse to try and prevent the um, the Soup from using his own Undermine. Is Soup is Soup making a Longhouse anywhere? Soup gets old Sarks out of his TC. He gets old Sarks out of his TC to start making um, Longhouses. Is Soup gonna find this? Oh my god, is Soup gonna find this? We got a skirmish here in the middle! Imagine Forest Fire, imagine Forest Fire! It's looking better for Soup, baby, it's looking better for Soup, it's looking better for Soup. He's got three hers here, very much alive. That was a good longhouse block by, uh, by Rappel, but... Okay, fine, this longhouse is up, this longhouse is up, but still Soup is ahead in population despite not having a longhouse. He is housed, okay, sure, but still, but still, but still, but still. Oh boy. The Golden Lion's coming in clutch, I'm telling you, dude. I am telling you. Oh, my God. That is that is maybe the GG right there. The Valkyrie. The Valkyrie. The Valkyrie. That is maybe the GG. The Can the Lions. Can the Lions save Rapple? Oh, the Herseer is blocked by the Ulfsar. Can't get in on the Valkyrie. 27 population for Rapple. Oh, and unfortunate with the ox cart, stupid ox cart position there. Rapples, Rapples got no food. He's got no food. He can't, he can't produce. No food. He can't produce. But he's got to hang in there to not give soup the two one. Hang in there, Rapple. You gotta hang in there, Rapple. The myth unit spawns, baby. The myth unit spawns, baby. It doesn't even matter that soup picks off the houses, man. Rapple doesn't isn't even close to his bop limit. Wah 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 wah. Is he making, like he's not, he's not making anything out of his town center. Are you kidding me? He's got hers here coming out. He's got, he's got old Sarks. He's got throwing Axemen coming out. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Double, double um, longhouse for soup over here. But he's got, he's got this longhouse that's not producing. Is he still producing from his temple? Yes, indeed he is. Rapple's hanging in there, baby. Rapple's hanging in there. Looking a bit sketch by all means, looking a bit sketch, but he's hanging in there for sure. 
The Golden Lions are gonna. I'm not even. I'm not even joking. If 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 Rapple stay is able to stay in this game, it's gonna be because of the Golden Lions. I shit you not. I shit you not. Ooh, there's the other under undermine. The undermine from Soup is it gonna get the house as well? Doesn't get. Ooh 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 ooh. It's a little bit late getting the the house. I could have blocked the house. Another Valkyrie spawn. These Valk spawns are so huge for Soup. Are you kidding me? There is a Hersir there to help defend. There's an also Hersir, also a Hersir there to help defend. These golden lions are clutch, man, but they're just kind of cannon fodder in all sincerity. The longhouse is down. The Einherjar is alive with two HP. Soup is just not giving Rapple any breathing room here, baby. He is just not giving any breathing room. 64 to 25 population. GG. And just like that. Seven minutes and Rapple calls it, man. Soup ends up taking it two to one. He ends up taking it, or sorry, two to zero. Two to zero. Man, that that it, it was all because of this first fight, man. It was all because of this first this first little fight right here. Um, Soup had what was it? Uh, two hers here. He had like three hers here and a nine her compared to like one or two wolf sarks, one hers here, one nine uh, for Rapple. And Soup won that fight. And after that, it was you know it's just uh, Rapple's just behind, man. That's how those, that's how these, you know, aggressive Norse Wars go, though, baby. That's how these aggressive Norse Wars go. That, that pair of Golden Lions, it helped. That relic seriously helped. It wasn't quite enough, man. It wasn't quite enough, but... Man. I, I want to check the advanced times real quick. 3.58 for soup this time. 3.58 for soup this time. 412 for Rapple. I mean, Rapple had a really good advance time right there, but 358? It didn't make a huge difference. It didn't make a huge difference, but still. I think partially what won the game is um, the fact that this this elephant right here, the ox cart was retarded and just went up here on the top side of the hill. Um, it's just a huge bummer for Rapple, honestly. That's just a huge bummer for Rapple. He didn't have the food income. He couldn't, you know, Soup ended up making Ulf Sarks out of his main TC in order to build these houses and the long houses and whatnot. Whereas, you know, that's about the same time that Rapple had the weird ox cart positioning. He didn't have that food income. Even his TC was idle. You know, it's one thing to be behind, but when, you're, when your food income is also unnecessarily messed up. Bummer, dude. Bummer, dude. Well, let's check the post. Uh, finish up the post game real quick. 8 to 24, dude. 8 to 24. I wonder if some of these units killed for soup. I wonder if some of those are the golden lines because that's, you know, I mean, it's four, at least, I think, four, four kills that soup got on those golden lines. I don't know if it actually counts towards those, honestly. They're free units that the relic gives you, so it's not like, it's not like, uh, you know, Rappa would have paid for those. So it might have been eight to 20 in all sincerity. It might have been eight to 20. I'm going to come. Dude, despite the food problems, Asil underscore two is gonna come. <laughs> hey, are you enjoying Fimble Winter, Asil? Are you enjoying Fimble Winter? A winter interview? Okay, I can I can message him about it. Count. Anyways, the uh, like I said, the despite having the the fewer resources gathered, still Soup was able to just the uh, dude the the Valkyrie and Einherjar spawns man. The Valky well, I think he spawned two Valkyries. I think he might have spawned. One her ein her yar, maybe none. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but the myth unit spawns man are so big. So big, so big, so big. Well played to Rapple, well played to soup. Nice fast series, but nice series. Really nice series.